Hey everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to install the Signage Mod 10.1 Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean ROM on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Very exciting that uh, we got this ROM available for us. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it. Very similar to other ROMs, you are going to need to make sure you install a safe kernel. So I recommend installing the uh, EL29 Direct Boot kernel, which I can link to in the description. Actually, uh, what I have is actually, I'm gonna use Mobile Odin right here. So I'm gonna use Mobile Odin. You do need to be rooted to install a kernel. And also, uh, another prerequisite is make sure you are on an ice cream sandwich modem and not on a jelly bean modem. So go ahead and go to About Phone. And under Baseband Version, FI27, is I believe the latest ice cream sandwich modem. There could be leaked later ones, but the latest official is FI27. If you are on FK23, uh, I definitely just recommend watching my how to root video on um, FI27 and just use the reset data option to do a complete factory reset, but that will get you back to baseband version FI27 and you will be rooted. Uh, but anyway, so you'll see I'm on FI27, I am rooted. I can go ahead and find super user right there, uh, but what you're gonna to need to do is flash a kernel. I have a video showing you how to uh, flash a kernel with Mobile Odin or give you more information if you're looking for the reason why you need to flash a, a safe kernel, etc. I'll link to that. Uh, but anyways, you can also use Desktop Odin, or the Odin that you use on your desktop, um, and just put the EL29 Direct Boot kernel in the PDA slot of Odin. Put your phone in download mode, hit start. That will work as well. But first of all, you need to download and put files on your phone because when you flash, uh, the EL29 kernel, it's going to go directly into your custom recovery and you need to flash the ROM. So you need to make sure that the ROM files are on your uh, SD card or internal SD card. So first of all, then go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video for the ROM. It's gonna go ahead and take you to this website. First of all, shout out to Destin1015. Big shout out to him for putting this ROM together for us. You'll see the latest build this January 23rd. Point of this video is the 24th. So again, it could be updated, but you'll see Science Mod 10.1, Android 4.2.1. Go ahead and scroll down, give you some features, information about the ROM. Keep scrolling down, keep scrolling down. Keep going until you see download right here. So you'll see download. Go ahead and click on the latest one, January 23rd version two is the latest. Go ahead and click on that, download it. Uh, if, it if there is a later build, I recommend just downloading that one instead. So download that. You're also gonna need to download the GApps add-on. Go ahead and scroll down even further and you'll see some extras. You'll see GApps. Go ahead and click on this link and you have to download these as well. So download this, download the ROM file. So you need two zip files, transfer them both to your internal or external storage of your Epic 4G Touch. Make sure they're on your device. Uh, once they are, we're actually ready to go. Once you have a uh, not a jelly bean modem and then you have the two zip files on your device, so we're ready to go. Go back to your phone. So now we're ready to flash that kernel, whether you're using mobile Odin or just Odin on your desktop. Uh, go ahead and open it on up. All right, now that I have mobile Odin loaded on up, I'm just gonna go ahead and select kernel and then go to internal SD card. And then you'll see at the, the file, I have that EL29 direct boot kernel up at the top. Go ahead and select that. And then I believe I hit flash firmware and hit continue. It says continue at your own risk. I can go ahead and check the MD5 and now it's gonna flash the kernel. So once it flashes the kernel, it's actually going to directly boot me into my custom recovery, I believe Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7, if I'm not mistaken, which is a safe recovery to flash, which is why I'm telling you to do so. Again, you can do this via Odin on your PC if you are more comfortable. There we go, 5.0.2.7, as I said. So now we are ready to install the ROM. So now what we need to do is use volume up and down to navigate and the power button to select. I believe you need to uh, go ahead and once you're at the top, go ahead and press volume up, volume down, volume up until it says back menu button enabled and then we're ready to go. Now what you can do is go ahead and go to backup and restore, make an Android backup just in case anything goes wrong. You do need this clock 5.0.2.7 to restore the backups, just kind of keep that in mind. But uh, make an Android backup if you have not made one, but we will need to do a full factory reset so uh, all your apps your contacts etc are going to be wiped so just keep that in mind so the first step is go down to mounts and storage and press the power button and then go ahead and go down to format cache select that and hit yes format uh, let that format and then go down to format system select that and then hit yes format system and then go ahead and go down to format data 
and format that as well and hit yes. So make sure you format all of those, all three of them. And once we're done there, just go ahead and go back and then hit white data factory reset just for good measure and hit yes, delete all user data. And once that's done formatting, we can go ahead and go down to install zip from SD card. Choose it from SD card or internal SD card, wherever you have transferred those files over to. And now just go ahead and find the ROM zip, the wild for the night, whatever the latest zip file is called, select it and hit yes, install. It will take a little bit of time to install this ROM, so just be a little bit patient. Uh, I will be back once the installation is done. All right, so you'll see install from SD card complete. The ROM is done installing. Now just, uh, we're not done yet. Remember you have those G apps that you have to install. Now go back to choose zip from SD card or internal storage and find that G apps add on zip and select it and hit yes, install. That will not take as long as the ROM. It will take a bit of time though. The G apps is gonna give you the Play Store, all those good Google apps. So if you do not have the Play Store, you can try reinstalling the Google apps add on just in case uh, so you know where that's coming from. And there you have it, install from SD card complete. The G apps are done, just hit go back and reboot system now, and that's it. So our phone will reboot, our Epic 4G Touch will reboot, and once it reboots, we will be running the CM 10.1 ROM on our device. I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys check out the boot animation, but I will be doing a separate review video talking about some bugs, etc. You'll see the nice signage in my boot animation. The first boot up will take a little bit of time. Subsequent boot ups will take less time. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, leave a comment. Um, be sure to subscribe to me as well. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.